This is an interesting comment. Does the vibrations of the grinder bother them? Now these are anti-vibration grinders. Good morning and welcome back to Hoof Talk. You guys have asked some brilliant questions this week. I love hearing from you guys, so keep them going so we can do some nice deep dives on all your comments. Today we're diving into grinders and trimming schedules. Does a grinder damage a cow? Let's get into it and let's find out. Now, this is an interesting comment. Does the vibrations of the grinder bother them? Now, these are anti-vibration grinders. So these grinders are incredibly expensive. They've not been cleaned yet, FYI. But yeah, these grinders are incredibly expensive. They're costing us about £300 a grinder to buy these anti-vibration grinders. And I only really use the anti-vibration ones when we're trimming these lame, potentially uncomfortable issues. Now, it's a great observation. Does the vibration bother them? And I've never seen a cow flinch. What they flinch more to and react more to is pressure. Now, I need to put pressure on a knife to get it cut through this incredibly hard hoof horn. Now, if I'm using a grinder, I don't have to do that. I can take paper thin layers off and not cause her any discomfort at all. So it's a great comment, but I'm pretty confident that we're causing them way less bother than if I was trying to do it with a knife. Now, this again is an interesting observation and I have heard comments like this said multiple times, but let me put our trimming into perspective. Now, we trim about 30,000 trims a year and out of those trims, we probably trim 20,000 individual cows-ish. Some are trimmed twice a year, some are trimmed once a year, but it probably works out around 15 to 20,000 cows. Now, if I was to shoe, or boot these cows they would need replacing and they would probably need replacing every six weeks now to put a shoe on a cow it probably i mean what would the uk cost be probably 10 to 15 pounds so probably 12 13 dollars up to about 20 dollars for a shoe per shoe if we were putting eight shoes on cows every six weeks you can imagine the insane cost when actually the average farm we see runs it five percent lameness so it seems an incredible undertaking for actually very few issues you got to remember you guys only see the bad feet we don't show you that much routine but we will go some days all day see 60 cows and maybe treat one maybe treat two sometimes we could trim 300 cows and treat none so what you guys have got to remember is the theory of putting shoes on may make sense but it's not reality cows can't put their own shoes on we have to do it for them it just would never work why doesn't the farmer schedule routine trims for this to happen now we don't trim anywhere that doesn't routine trim so it's one of our stipulations when we start trimming on a farm we have to see routine trimming and so yeah this guy does routine trim but clearly there's been a few issues it's not always ideal but it does happen cows could skip a routine trim they may get missed obviously when you're running hundreds of cows paperwork is a pretty big ordeal things can get missed it could happen in every profession but yeah some farms i go to we routine trim three times a year some twice some just once it all depends on yield and environment but yeah i assure you all the cows we trim gets a routine trim now i would handle that with a variety of things we could horseshoe block it so we take the weight on all the toes i could split a block and put a block on both toes to try and spread that weight but yeah it's very simply done i don't see i could probably count on one hand how many cows i've seen with an issue on both toes we work with some incredibly vigilant farmers we see very little lameness so yeah 
seeing a cow with issues on two feet is incredibly rare. So that is it for Hoof Talk today. Now, if you have any comments, make sure keep dropping them in. But if you haven't checked out this week's trim, it was an incredibly challenging trim. The link will be in the description. Do not forget, smash that subscribe button. Thank you for watching and we will catch you on next week's video. Let's go.